And now to Australia, where the country says it will no longer recognize West Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. Reversing a decision taken by the government of former Prime Minister Scott Morrison in 2018. According to the Foreign Minister Penny Wong, Canberra's decision in 2018 had undermined peace and put Australia out of step with other nations. She stressed that Australia remained a steadfast friend to Israel. Its embassy will stay in Tel Aviv. The status of Jerusalem is one of the most contested issues between Israel and the Palestinians. Former U.S. President Donald Trump drew international criticisms in 2017 when he reversed decades of American foreign policy by recognizing the Asian city as Israel's capital. The U.S. Embassy was relocated from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem in May 2018. And a month later, Australia's then Prime Minister Scott Morrison announced his government would follow suit. Uh, today, uh, the government has reaffirmed Australia's previous and long-standing position that Jerusalem is a final status issue. Uh, and a final status issue that should be resolved as part of any peace negotiations between Israel and the Palestinian peoples. This reverses the Morrison government's recognition of West Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. Australia's embassy, of course, has always been and remains in Tel Aviv. Uh, the Australian government remains committed to a two-state solution in which Israel and a future Palestinian state can coexist in peace and security within internationally recognised borders. We will not support an approach that undermines this prospect. I would say, I, I realise this is an issue of uh, great interest to some parts of the Australian community, and I would say this. We are committed to international efforts in the responsible progress, uh, responsible pursuit of pro progress towards a just and enduring two-state solution. I also wish to say uh, to uh, the members of the Jewish community. Australia, uh, Australia will always be a steadfast friend of Israel. We were amongst the first countries to formally recognise Israel under Labor Prime Minister Ben Chifley, and we remain, we will not waver in our support uh, of both Israel and the Jewish community in Australia. We are equally unwavering in our support of the Palestinian people, uh, including in the provision of humanitarian support.